Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming today and welcome to the Drexel Hill Middle School September Wall of Heroes ceremony. It's a real pleasure for me to be here today. I've heard about this uh, for many years. I never had the opportunity to be here, so I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Uh, my name is uh, Wayne McAllister. I am the interim principal here. I'd also like to introduce and thank, uh, we have three school board members here. I, their dedication to Upper Darby School District is, is just the great, and I'd like to thank them. So we have Judy Gentile here. Good. And sitting next to Judy is Lee Jordan. And the president, Rachel Mitchell. Thank you for being here today. At this time, we're going to start out. Um, please stand for our national anthem sung by our girls ensemble directed by Miss Anna Schneider, and please remain standing for our pledge after that. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. For those of us who are old enough to remember it, the events of September 11th, 2001 are something that we could never forget. For the current students of Drexel Hill Middle School, I find that many of you have learned about the devastation of that day from videos and old news clips, from textbooks, online articles, and conversations with parents and teachers. Often, what you learn are the historical details of the event. You learn about the planes and the places where they tragically made impact. You learn about the terrorists who were responsible and the politics and the wars that followed. Hopefully, you have learned about the courage of the first responders, many of who lost their own lives in their effort to save others. What isn't often taught or talked about is how we all felt that day and the weeks and months that followed how after the initial jolt of fear and confusion, there were countless acts of bravery and service. People all over the country collectively asked, how can I help? As a nation, we all came together to make sure that we would all be okay. It is this spirit of resilience and selflessness, hallmarks of the American character that we celebrate on this day each year. Since beginning this celebration, we have recognized many of the finest citizens and servants of the Upper Darby community. People who have dedicated their own lives to the safety and well-being of those living around them. We have celebrated police officers, firefighters, veterans, and school officials. All of these people have lived in, served, and improved Upper Darby Township in their own special way. And the people we recognize today, most certainly, deserve their place among them on the DHMS Wall of Heroes. It is fitting that the Fords technically exist as two individual people, but will be adorned on our wall with a single plaque. That is how they serve us, as a single, seemingly unbreakable unit that often appears to live anchored into the foundations of this school community. Their story is truly an Upper Darby story. 
Both Steve and Katie graduated from Upper Darby High School in 1998. They both served our country in the Army Reserves. Katie is a combat medic and Steve is a military policeman. The Justice of the Peace married them on October 2nd, 2001, less than a month after 9-11, as Steve was reporting to active duty in Virginia the following morning. Following his active duty assignment, Steve began a career with the Upper Darby Police Department that has continued for 15 years up to this day. If the story ended here, it would still constitute an amazing level of service for both Katie and Steve. But their dedication to this town has driven them to so much more. They've sent all three of their children through this district and in their efforts to support them have helped hundreds, perhaps even thousands of other students through their volunteer work. They are integral in the production and performance of our annual school musical, spending nights and weekends at Drexel Hill Middle School building sets, helping with rehearsals, and providing the students and staff with whatever help they need to make the show a success. Steve is a board member for both the Brad Shaner Foundation and the Upper Darby Arts and Education Foundation. He's currently the home and school president at Upper Darby High School, and through his work with the police department, has participated in the fifth grade mentoring program at both Garriford and Highland Park Elementary Schools. Katie works as a behavioral therapist for autistic children and is the Choral Music Association president at Upper Darby High School. She's also the current treasurer for both the Home and School Association and the Band and Orchestra at Drexel Hill Middle School. Through all that they do already, they're still always asking, how can I help? Steve and Katie Ford are models of what it means to be involved citizens and dedicated members of a community. They set an example for all of us about living our lives for others and the satisfaction that can be gained through service. It is my personal honor to dedicate this moment to them and to officially unveil their plaque on the Drexel Hill Middle School Wall of Heroes. If we were outside, you would be able to see it much better. <laughs> but I assure you, it's right there. <laughs> and we'll be there forever. At this time, before we hear some remarks from Steve and Katie, and before I present them with their own personal plaque for their own personal wall. Uh, we will hear from our girls ensemble again performing a song of unsung heroes. Thank you. 
At this time, I'd like to call the Fords up to receive this plaque that states, Drexel Hill Middle School salutes Stephen and Kathleen Ford upon their induction to the Drexel Hill Middle School Wall of Heroes in honor of their loyal and faithful service to the students of Upper Darby School District. Presented September 11, 2018. Good morning. Katie and I are so incredibly grateful, humbled to be presented with this honor today. Thank you to Mr. Cramp, Mr. Salerno, uh, Mr. McAllister, and the other staff of the school. Um, sorry, it's a little emotional today. <laughs> it's a fantastic honor to be here with this school and this staff. Um, Katie and I both went through the Upper Darby School District. We graduated from the high school in 1998. When we looked for a place to settle, and raise our family, here was the obvious place. When our children started school, we both wanted to be a part of the educational process. So we jumped right in and took advantage of every opportunity that came our way. Since then, we have been so fortunate to be welcomed by the teachers, the staff, and the administrators of this great district. Today, as we celebrate, we also take time to remember the tragic events of 9-11. We especially remember and honor the incredible sacrifices of the true heroes on that day. It was a horrendous day. The law enforcement, firefighters, emergency services, and even the brave citizens of New York and everywhere else came, put aside their differences that day for the safety of others. They needlessly ran in, not needlessly, without thinking of their own safety, selflessly ran into that building to help others. These men, oh, sorry, and that's what truly makes them heroes is the selflessness that they showed that day to help the others, just other people around that they didn't even know. They just stopped and helped everything they could do. Many ran into the Twin Towers that day without reservation, without hesitation, just knowing that they needed to help. Some walked into recruiting stations and joined the military, feeling it deep inside calling for action. Many offered a comforting shoulder, food, drink, and shelter. Millions around the world took a knee in prayer, this day changed all of our lives forever and brought out the best in all of us, the solidarity and camaraderie that we will never forget. What is important to take away from the actions of the heroes of 9-11 is the idea that anyone can be a hero. Superpowers are not necessary, no capes, no flying abilities, no grand gestures, just a desire to help others and a kind heart. Here in Drexel Hill, it can be as easy as putting out a donation box for a local animal shelter, saying hello to the new kid in school, or complimenting a friend who is having a bad day. Being a hero could be as simple as getting involved in something you feel strongly about, and then encouraging others to do the same. As William Shakespeare wrote, the meaning of life is to find your gift, the purpose of life is to give it away. So find your gift and share it widely. Throughout our time in the Upper Darby School District, Steve, our children, and I have been very fortunate to have found ourselves surrounded by so many individuals who have provided exceptional examples of giving selflessly. Many are here today. These individuals have helped create the kind of community that we have always considered ourselves to be extremely lucky to have been and continue to be a part of here in Upper Darby. As you go forward through the rest of the day, the rest of the week, the rest of your time in Drexel Hill, and the rest of your life, remember the words of Jane Goodall. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference. And you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Thank you again so very much. At this time, Ms. Schneider will lead the girls' ensemble through another performance for us of Siahamba, We Are Marching.
In closing, I would like to thank everyone for joining us here on this special day. I'd like to thank Ms. Jen Holstein, Ms. Anna Schneider, and the terrific Drexel Hill Middle School Girls Ensemble, the Drexel Hill Middle School maintenance staff, and Ms. Renee Greeley and Mr. John Adamson for making this ceremony possible. As we wrap things up, we invite uh, you all to join us in the library for some light refreshments. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. And again, to the Fords, congratulations, and thank you for all that you do for our community.